way, because I wanted to say um, what I think about this high tea is really about tradition. That's what I think of. Um, because as many times as I've been to London, I've, I've never been to a high tea. They're actually quite expensive um, if you go to one out in a restaurant because they offer you so many varieties of things. So it's a lot. Um, and so we've never been, but I've, I never had anything to celebrate or anything. And I feel like um, high teas are a celebration um, because you're, you're bringing out the china and you're bringing out the, uh, the delectables, you're putting on your best tea. Um, but then on the other hand, um, as I've learned, the queen just thinks of high tea as her fourth meal. So drinker, again, I think tea is sort of a tradition in your family. Um, I'm a big coffee drinker, but I have so many tea things. And that's what um, I, I brought out some of my little tea things. This is actually um, from my mother's wedding set. Uh, little, and it's got matching um, teacups and saucers. Oh, I love that. Well, it's cute. Um, I also have this really cool thing um, that I got because I thought it was so cool. Um, really modern you know, that you would put your tea in there, little diffuser, yeah. all those things. Never used it. Um, <laughs> and I, I have to say one of my, my, my favorites now is something that Livia made for me in her ceramics class. I thought if I was gonna do a um, Harry Potter um, theme, oh, it would be excellent, would they not? That would be perfect. And I used to have more tea paraphernalia myself, but I am also, as I transitioned into uh, full-time work post-college, now all I drink is coffee because it's the only thing strong enough to keep me awake. So I think of tea as either um, a bad substitute for coffee or a nighttime ritual, like a chamomile tea or something relaxing. So doing a high tea is gonna be very unique and I think very special. That is true. I also did learn, for anyone out there, also a second hot debate was um, pinkies up or pinkies down. Oh. The answer is pinkies down. Oh. Pinkies down when drinking. Don't eat. <laughs> Pro tip for your tea. If the debate is pinkies up or pinkies down, it is pinkies down. If you are going to stir your tea, you should start at six o'clock, which is closest to you, and take your spoon clockwise to 12 o'clock and be careful not to make clinking sounds with the side of the teacup. One should stir silently. And when drinking your tea, remember the cup only, leave your saucer on the table. And the other delightful thing about high tea is that of all the meals, you can eat with your hands. I'm trying that my new scone with some honey. <laughs>